now we see the next point the properties of the system here properties of system there are two properties of the system first is extensive properties first is extensive properties means those properties depends upon amount of matter present in the system is called as extensive property the property of system which depends upon the amount of substance present in the system is called as an extensive property suppose i give the two beakers to you and one beaker is half filled with water and another beaker completely filled up with water one beaker is half filled and another is complete and we take the mass of both beakers the mass is the same or a different tell me yes okay all right different mass we have to take the mass जो हा फिल्ड बी करायचा मास काय असणार आहे लेस आणि जो कम्प्लिटली फिल्ड बी करायचा मास काय असणार आहे हाय असणार आहे थोडं जास्त असणार म्हणजे ही प्रॉपर्टी काय झाली मास ही एक्सटेन्सिव्ह प्रॉपर्टी म्हणजे कशा अमाऊंट ऑफ मॅटर वर ही प्रॉपर्टी डिपेंड करते अमाऊंट ऑफ मॅटर प्रेझेंट इन द सिस्टम हे झालं मास एरिया एरिया फॉर्म्यू म्हणजे मास एरिया फॉर्म्यू इंटरनल एनर्जी दीज आर एक्सटेन्सिव्ह प्रॉपर्टी it depends on the matter and second is intensive property intensive property those property not depend on the amount of matter present in the system here one example we take the two beakers one is half filled up with water and another is completely filled up water and the boiling point of both the waters are same or different the boiling point of water is 100 degrees celsius here we have taken two beakers one is half filled up with water and another is completely filled up with water which order shows more or less boiling point as tell me anyone all of you yes correct both of the orders shows the same boiling point means this property not depends upon the matter present in the system is called as intensive property this is boiling point melting point density then viscosity surface tension these are the intensive property means the that property not a different of the matter which is independent of matter present in the system is called as intensive property here we see the two properties of the system one is extensive property and another is intensive property these are the example of intensive property and extensive property and intensive property 
here use the example. And the question is as follows. Explain intensive properties with the suitable example. Or explain intensive properties with the suitable example. So I will this C gila, Q a J gila, R B gila. Kaya question is over. Which of the following is an intensive property? Or which of the following is an in extensive property? Kaya question is over. Negative question is over. Which of the following is a not extensive property? Or which of the following is a not intensive property? Properties of the system. Define thermodynamics. The terms of the question is define system and define surrounding. Types of the system. Explain the types of the system. क्वेश्चन प्रॉपर्टी प्रॉपर्टी थर्मोटाइमस The thermodynamics of properties generally depends upon macroscopic properties. Macroscopic properties means temperature, pressure, volume, energy, and number of moles. These are called as macroscopic properties. It is also called as a measurable properties. Means this is pressure, volume, temperature, number of moles, energy. It is also called as a variables. Variables. The value of the variable change. The state of the system is a change. Here, P1, V1, T1, and L. The change in variables. These are the variables. Or it is also called as a measurable property. Of thermodynamics, one of the variables is the change. That time, the change of state of system means this is the initial state, initial state of the system. The value of the variable is change. Then, the state of system is the change, and that is called final state. Final state. Means here pressure is one bar. Pressure is equal to one bar. Volume 
feet is equal to one one dm cube. Temperature three hundred. And we change this here. Pressure is equal to two bar. Then volume is point five dm, and also temperature is equal to three hundred k. Here change the variable. Change the variable. Then state of the system is also changed. And hence state function means the state of system changed by these functions are called as a state function. Means any property of the system which depends upon the current state of the system. In this kind of matter, the property which depends on the state of system. In the current state of the age means the property which depends on the state of system is called as a state functions. When the property state of the child depends on the state of the state functions, these are the various state variables. It is also called as a state functions. And the property of the system depends upon these functions. And this change the state by change the variable, then change the state of the system. And the second is a path function. This is a first is a state function, and the second is a path function. Path. The function. The path the property which depends on the property which depends on the path is called as a path function. And here work and heat. Work and heat are the path functions. But I shall see it later with the question which I like. Which of the following is a path function? क्यों तो सही चल रहा तो which of the following not a state function which of the following is a not state function मुझे work and heat का शॉर्ट डिपेंडेंस लगता है जब पाथ वर्क की डिपेंडेंस हो मुझे the property which depends upon the path is called as a path function and this का शॉर्ट है state function is the property system which depends upon the state function state functions. These are the state function and path functions. These are the explain now state function and path function. Here now we complete a state function and path function. Then next is thermodynamic equilibrium. The equilibrium is constant. Thermodynamic equilibrium is Kashalas. Thermodynamic properties Kashalas are open. Temperature, pressure, volume, number of particles, energy. These are thermodynamic properties. The equilibrium is constant. When this gas that has property gas that has constant, means thermodynamic equilibrium means the state function of the system. Do not change with the time is called as thermodynamic equilibrium. In this case, constant pressure, the temperature, constant pressure, constant volume, constant. These are the constants. Thermodynamic equilibrium again divided. Thermal equilibrium. Thermal equilibrium. In this, temperature of the system is remains constant 
is called as a thermal equilibrium. Another is a chemical equilibrium. Chemical equilibrium. In this, number of moles and concentration, number of moles and concentration of the system is a constant, is called as thermal chemical equilibrium. First, thermal means temperature of the system is a constant. Is called as thermal equilibrium. Second, chemical equilibrium, number of moles and concentration of the system is constant, is called as a chemical equilibrium. And third, mechanical equilibrium. Here, pressure and volume, pressure and volume of the system. Is a remains constant is called as a mechanical equilibrium. Here this is a thermodynamic equilibrium. Thermodynamic equilibrium means state function of the system do not change with the time. Means temperature, pressure, volume, number of moles do not change with the time is called as a thermodynamic equilibrium. Here thermal equilibrium means temperature of the system is a remains constant. Chemical equilibrium, number of moles and concentration of the system is constant. Then mechanical equilibrium, the pressure and volume of the system is constant, is called as a mechanical equilibrium. This is called as a thermodynamic equilibrium. The question is asked now, explain the thermodynamic equilibrium. First problem. Define thermodynamic equilibrium. Then the next part we see the process.